I woke up one morning and as soon as I opened my eyes, I said to myself, I'm walking to Perth. And that day, I reckon I could have walked to Perth the whole day. Just the way that my body felt and everything like that, and I, I knew that was what I had to do. My name's Shane Griffiths. I'm telling my story because my daughter passed away 2017, November 5th, and um, I'm doing a walk from Melbourne to Perth for her passing and also for, to promote mental health. My daughter Summer, she was the uh, apple of my eye. It was early in the morning when I got, got the first phone call. She, uh, she was sick and, and went to hospital. She was on holidays over in Perth. And the third phone call was to say that, I'll never forget these words, that um, she just died. Those words, a parent should never, never hear from a about your child. There was no time to book a flight. I never got to say goodbye, so I think that was, um, you know, one of the hardest things I'll, I'll ever run. They're about to deal with it, never saying goodbye. She was always just full of energy. You know, it puts you in that, in a good uh, headspace too, when she was around, because she's just so happy, so, yeah, all those things you miss. It's, it's hard to get through something like that when none of your family or friends have been through it. I hated the world, like I said, it's, it's one of those things that you know, parents shouldn't go through and, and, and until you go through it, you, you probably understand how much anger you have towards everything. I was in that mindset of if, if I'm in pain, then everyone else is gonna be in pain. So I did get in a bit of trouble with the police, uh, you know, drank too much and I couldn't function without it. I, mean, I look back now and all that was doing was setting me up for a, for two weeks of misery. You know, the hangovers were the worst thing because of the grief, the pain. Um, you know, as much as I'd put it at the back of my head, uh, when the alcohol wore off, everything just, just come forward. One night I was out drinking and I woke up the next morning, I was covered in um, vodka and cranberry juice and my new white shirt and you know, my mouth tastes like an ashtray, I had a headache and a voice inside my head said to me, enough's enough. That, that voice inside my head, I mean, it was a lifesaver. It was just enough's enough and that's all I needed to hear. So every morning I wake up, I've got uh, quotes on my uh, cupboard door I read every morning. So I've got a gratitude book as well that I write in. I do that to stop the negative thoughts coming into my mind. So as soon as I get up, I stand up and I read those quotes out um, one by one. Now I, I hardly get any negative thoughts in my mind because my, my mind's just positive now. Like it's, I've, I've made it that way. I'm in such a good mindset now that I don't want to have anything that changes my thought pattern. For anyone going through this, it's it's no matter who you talk to, no matter who you uh, who you see or anything like that, it's it's you that has to do it. The exercise has stopped me from. Uh, thinking about alcohol, thinking about going out and uh, doing the other things I used to do. So I know it's completely changed the way I feel. But in, in my body, my mind, everything, I'm, I'm so much more happier. It's going to be a long walk, but I will, I will crawl across that finish line no matter how long it takes me. I think knowing that that's where she did pass away, that's what's going to make it you know, uh, as easy as possible for me to get me over there. With the training I'm doing, the, the running, the cycling, the boxing, um, the walking, as much as that is going to help, it's, it's my mindset that's going to that's gonna get me there. It is going to be a very expensive, long trip to Perth. I've got to pay a support crew that's going to come with me. Anything to help me out will, will be much appreciated. I am looking for bigger sponsors to come on board and I'm, I'm, I'm doing this to prove to people that just an average person can uh, walk from Melbourne to Perth. I want to be that person that, that can show the, the average person that anyone can do anything. <laughs>